Excuse me. Hey. Is Professor Klump here? Uh, Professor Klump. Uh, Sherman. Sherman Klump. Uh, no, he had to go take care of some things, Miss Purdy, so I'm running this thing here. Do I know you? Do you know me? <laughs> oh. Sherman didn't tell you about me? No. Oh, man. Isn't that like Sherman to hog all the credit? I'm, I'm, uh, I'm Sherman's confidant. Well, have you seen him today? I was wondering if he was all right after everything that happened at the club the other night. Oh, Miss Purdy. You tore his chunky ass up. You know, it's strange that a man, a man as intelligent as Sherman, he has no confidence whatsoever. Make me sick sometimes. And I'm always telling the man, Sherman, no matter what, you got to strip. You got to suck in your gut and strip. Now, me personally, I don't have that problem. Doesn't seem like you do. You know, you're just too feisty and a little bit too fine. I think me and you need to hook up. We need to go to the scream tonight, have a couple of drinks, and strut our respective stuff together. I don't even know your name. Hey, Buddy, what the hell happened here? Oh, see, everybody knows Buddy. Buddy, um, we, uh, the professor must have got a little carried away last night. Oh, Officer Dag, I'm glad you came up because he told me to tell you personally, please thank your wife, Claire, for bringing that upside down cake for him. He ate every crumb of it. Thank you so much. And, uh, Officer, can you have someone from janitorial come up and clean up this mess, please? Thank you, Officer Dag. Thank you. Buddy. Buddy, is that it or do you have a last name? Love. Love. You see, Miss Purdy, there comes a time in a man's life when he has to... <clears throat> Miss Purdy, people have a tendency in life to always want to rush into things and... What I'm trying to say, Miss Purdy, is uh, there's a right time and place for everything. Uh, like I said, there's a right time and place for everything. And... Tonight would be a good time for us to get together tonight and scream. And tonight and scream would be the perfect time to discuss it. So I'll see you tonight and scream inside. Remember, don't be late. Excuse me. Scratching the cards and scratching your ass. You are too fine to be giving me curbside service. I'm not. I'm leaving. What you talking about leaving? We just got here. No, you just got here. I've been waiting for you for almost an hour. Hey, now, they say anticipation helps make the appetite grow stronger, if you know what I mean. Anticipate a night alone. Hey, hey, let's just have a meal again. Why you leave? Wait, let's... Hey, what you want me to beg you? I get down on my knees. I beg you in front of all these people. They got things I can't. These people are watching. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I want the world to know that I was late. And I'm sorry! My car ran out of gas! I need fresh drawers! My mother's sick! The car broke down down the street! Buddy, I'm so sorry! No, you gotta understand me! Hear me out! I am sorry! I don't know why this happened tonight! Of all night, this just happened to me tonight! Why? Why? Okay! Okay, okay, okay! Okay, good, let's eat. I am so hungry. Hey, don't let the tears fool you. I'm a tooth chipper. Six T-bones, five baked potatoes, and two servings of cream spinach. I have never seen anyone eat so much. You are so lucky to stay so fat. Oh, well, lucky has nothing to do with it. It's a matter of recombinant ribonucleic acids unzipped by radioactive quinine peptide. And, and what does that mean? I don't know. I'm just trying to sound extra intelligent. Gotcha! You gonna eat that? Is that you? I just finished the grant proposal. What's the matter with you? Never seen a brother wearing a circus tent before? Black man can't go camping? No, wait a minute. You you can't be you. We, we agree that you wouldn't do this. Someone has to tend to Chunky Butt's sex life. Chunky Butt is extremely horny. Excuse me. But Professor Klump has got a meeting tonight with Harlan Hartley at the Ritz. No, I'm gonna be at the Ritz tonight, but it will not be an entrance of science. Pardon me. No! I can't let you go. Professor! If you're in there and you can hear me, come out! Professor! Listen to me. The testosterone levels are way too high. You can't control him. 
Jason, what? Uh, it's me, Sherman. Uh, I'm talking to you from deep down inside, buddy love. Listen to me closely. Go in the back room while I'm holding them and get the coagulant serum off the back shelf. The storage closet? Yes, I yes. got it. All right. Hey. I got it. We don't have much time. Let's move. I got it. Ow! Ah! Professor! <laughs> Professor, I'm an appointment with love. Good night, hamster boy. Sherman, is that you? Are you all right? Oh, hi, Carla. Hi. <laughs> Did you have a party last night? Oh, no, my cleaning lady is, uh, cleaning lady's sick, so I have to clean up myself. I see. You sure she didn't die? <laughs> <laughs> oh, look, I'm a little embarrassed about the way how my place is looking, so why don't I clean up and get back at you a little later? No, 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 Sherman, Sherman, I need to talk to you now, and it's about Buddy. You had to be misbehaving, has he? He's an egotistical pig, and I wish I never met him. But, Sherman, I owe you a very big apology. You owe me an apology? Yes. Last night, I was only trying to help. I insisted that Buddy Love speak to Harlan Hartley. Hmm. He took all the credit for your research. Now, Dean Richmond, where's Buddy? Don't. Buddy came here? <laughs> so what's this? You guys, you guys share girls? Oh, no, 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 no. I guess I was next on the list. Oh, no, Carl, you don't understand. I cannot believe I came over here feeling sorry for you. Carla, will you please just listen to me? I assure you it is not what it appears to me. You're no better than he is. You are just as sick as Buddy, and I don't want to see you or him again. Ca Carla, please just listen. Carla! <laughs> no, 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 child. Not a wild party. Not Sherman. He's too shy for something like that. He hates parties. In fact, we tried to have a party for Sherman when he was 18 years old, and he's so shy he didn't even show up. <laughs> well, I must admit, it didn't seem like the Sherman I knew. Oh, no, not much. Maybe he loaned his house out to somebody or something when his buddies yeah! were storing a party there. Is that a test tube in my pocket? Am I just happy to see you? Oh, how dare you! Oh, you know you love it. I felt you percolate. Oh. Woo! Hey, thanks a lot, man. Thank you so much. Oh. Um, <laughs> what you serving in this stuff in there? You got to get some collard greens and some yams and red beans and rice. Somebody is this right. Ain't no party. This ain't no ball. Y'all got to get y'all some peach cobbler up in here. That's love. Where the hell have you been? I've been nursemaiding Hartley for three hours, and if I didn't need that money... Shut up! Who you think you're talking to, Sherman Club? Man, if you ever talk to me like that again, I'll kill you. And I don't mean that as a euphemism. I mean I'm gonna literally kill you. I'm gonna strangle you and cut off your ass supply until you pass away. Now find a rich dummy a seat. It's showtime. It's showtime, everybody! Showtime! <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, for my final demonstration, Look out, David Copperfield. I'm about to make a 400-pound fat man disappear forever! No! Wait! I cannot let you do this anymore! This has got to stop! This man is trying to kill Professor Sherman Clump! That's it. I'm glad I brought my knife. Mm -hmm, and I got my razor. Hand over the vial now. Oh, sure thing, Hansel Boy. But first, a short musical interlude. Buddy, what has gotten into you, and where is Sherman? Sherman is gone! 
on. Get the pen. And that's a pretty good trick for a man with an ass as big as his. Oh, I'm late for an appointment. Ladies and gentlemen, say goodbye to Sherman Clump. I hate being called hamster boy. Oh. <laughs>